as a private side markets person and lending to Australian companies, we, we, we provide funding from very high investment grade all the way through to deep sub-investment grade companies. And we participate up and down the capital structure. So that, that means we provide funding at a senior level. We provide subordinated or mezzanine finance and we can participate now in minority equity interests. So what we've tried to do is bring our skill set to the market to allow our investors to gain exposure to private market transactions in a debt format. So we've created a, a range of funds that are, we think are quite innovative in terms of the way in which they have been designed, really designed to cater to individual investors' unique requirements around how they want to manage risk, the returns they're looking to generate, and their liquidity that they're requiring in their asset, in their investments. So for us, um, we have products and a range of financial products that cater from very high investment grade through to deep sub-investment grade. And we've provided a range of ways in which investors can gain access to our asset class. If I think about one of our funds that is publicly listed, say MXT, uh, MXT provides investors with a fixed income alternative investment. So we invest predominantly in investment grade exposures and we're providing investors with exposure to private loan transactions. In Australia, a lot of investors have exposure to hybrids or term deposits at different ends of the risk spectrum, or it's very difficult for them to build up portfolios of diversified credit or fixed income uh, assets. The reason for that is most of these assets sit on bank balance sheets and so it's been very difficult for non-bank lenders to gain exposure. So with MXT, what we've sought to do is provide investors with a fixed income asset allocation alternative, giving them diversification across uh, a pool of domestically uh, originated corporate loans. Look, with MXT, we, we made a number of uh, statements at the time we, we completed the, the IPO in October of 2017. We sought to deliver investors a minimum cash return of the RBA cash rate plus 3.25% uh, net of fees and cost. We've exceeded that minimum target return. We said that uh, when we launched, the fund was diversified across around, uh, 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 was diversified around 50 individual loan assets. Uh, as at the end of January, the portfolio was diversified across 97 individual loan assets. We've consistently promised to play, pay monthly income. Uh, so the fund has made monthly income distributions since the end of the first quarter. Uh, in December of 2017. So across all of the key measures around return, diversification, portfolio risk management, we've exceeded those targets for our investors.